Some local nurses are actually coming out of retirement to help administer the COVID-19 vaccine. Reporter Max Hoffer has that story out of Yankton. Since she was five years old, Ellen Becker has always been in touch with her need to help people. After high school, she became a nurse's aide at the Avera Sacred Heart Hospital in Yankton. I feel like I've grown up there. I've been there since I was probably 18, 19 years old. Ten years later, she became a full-time registered nurse. She would go on to commit the next 33 years of her life to the job. She eventually retired at age 62. And it has evolved and turned over to young and bright young nurses. So, uh... And when I retired, it was good. You know, I wanted to retire young enough so that, you know, somebody didn't ask me to leave. But truth be told, she never did quite leave. She's been working as needed for the past four years. Recently, she's been administering doses of the COVID-19 vaccine at the hospital. I just feel like, wow, I, I'm so glad. I feel kind of like Rosie Riveter during the Second World War, like, we can do this. It takes an army to fight a battle like this. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, we have our army, and it's set up with Avera. Fellow retired nurse Lynette Bruning is also joining in to help. And with her, she's bringing 43 years of experience. And I retired eight years ago, and um, I, I found the need to just get back in among it. But not even that could prepare her for the emotional weight that came with every injection. The thing that brought tears to my eyes in one of the clinics was a lady that just broke down in tears the minute her injection entered her arm. And I initially thought, well, you know, did she is she did she get hurt or did the injection bother? No, she those are tears of joy. Everybody's wants to be there and uh, and the and the people who are receiving their vaccinations want to be vaccinated. If you'd ask Bruning and Becker, they'd tell you they only play a small part of a big team. It's remarkable uh, how you know the pharmacy and and the infectious disease nurse and. And the whole administration, the whole hospital, I mean, I'm just so proud to be a part of that. Everybody is just a part of that process, you know, and so thankful we have each other.